Do you want to know the quickest way to iterate over your Lambda code? Well, in this video, that is exactly what I'm going to show you how to do. Hi guys, my name is Sam with Complete Coding. And in this video, we're going to be looking at how we can do a serverless function deployment, which is way faster than doing a whole deployment of your serverless project. This means that you can make your changes and test them much, much more quickly, which reduces your feedback loop and allows you to develop features much quicker. If you need to make a change to your Lambda code, but you don't want to have to wait for a full serverless deployment, what you can do is you can make your change. So in this case, I might be saying, I've named the environment variable wrong. So it should be env.tableName. And now, instead of just doing a full serverless deployment, which will deploy your whole application, you can do SLS deploy, and then say that I only want to deploy a single function. I can then use minus F and add the function name. In my case, I always name my functions in the folder exactly the same as in my functions.ts. So set URL. I can check that that lines up with the name inside my array of functions and then hit run. This is going to update just the code. So here you can see function code deployed, but the configuration did not change. So it's taken, yeah, as you saw, a fraction of, a, of the time it normally takes to deploy your full application. In this video, we have learned how to do a serverless function deployment, where we're deploying just the code that has changed. This is super powerful for basically reducing the time it takes for you to test out a code change and therefore reduces the feedback time so you can iterate more quickly and develop your app more effectively. If this is a new technique and you've learned something that you think will be valuable, then it would be really helpful if you hit that like button as it helps share this video to more developers just like yourselves. If you're looking for a project to try this out on and don't know where to start, then check out this video here where I give you seven practical project ideas that can help you learn and master serverless.